So in this video, we are going to learn how we can use Wix navigation. So it's going to be a series uh, that's going to educate you properly on how you can use your native Wix navigation app. And this is a pre app I just built recently with a uh, real native navigation uh, uh, framework, which is very, 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 very good and very, very sleek and very, very smooth. So let me just click on push screen button and it's going to bring me to this settings uh, screen. And uh, also you can see that back here, everything looks pretty fine. So this video is going to, or this series is going to teach you on how you can make use of air native navigation, which has been a very, very something that is very, very hectic for some developers. So before we begin, I would like to tell you that if you really want to uh, learn this from an article, I have the written article on my website or my blog. So you can just come over here and uh, use the article written, of course. This is also the place I'm going to be making use of the article in order to make this video. So enough of the intro, let's just start. So I opened my uh, project folder and I did create the app. So the way I created the app was to use this code. Exactly what you see on this uh, face, uh, first code here. Exactly what you see there. And that's what I used. And I'm going to now switch to the Wix navigation folder. So these are the list of the files in, in the project folder. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to install a couple of dependencies. Uh, that's not really going to take time. I'm going to just paste these. I will just paste them together so that I will not have something that can delay me much. So this I'm doing in case you want to come to the blog and also grab a lot of these things that I put down here in order for you to uh, achieve the same thing I did here. So I'm just going to space this out. Just come to the end. I'm just doing this because I don't want it today. Paste this. So when you copy it, just right click on your mouse. And now lastly, I'm gonna paste this also. So let's just hit enter button and just uh, give it a couple of seconds to install all these dependencies that we need. So we have everything selected, I think. Okay, when it's done, we can check. So let me just move this on the right side. So guys, uh, before you continue watching this video, I would like you to hit the subscribe button and also the like, uh, like button in order to encourage me to make such type of videos. So we have all these uh, things installed. We have the area native navigation, which we have over here slash native then we have react limited handler yes context screens and then max view so everything has been installed so even if we try to run the app it's not going to uh, do anything now so there are still a couple of things we need to do before we link our react native navigation so come to the project folder i'm going to close this down i'm going to type down code to open it again. Now in the project folder, move down to Android app source main and there add sets. Click on add sets. Now we are already in our project folder. Just forget about everything else and just follow what I'm doing. Now in the no mode folder, go over to Metro config folder. In the Metro Config folder, just click on it. Click on blacklist.js. I think, did we do anything wrong? I think, case. Okay, just come over here. Come over to the second part of this video. Oh, not there. Uh, okay, sorry guys for the delay. Just come to the home page. Go to Metro Bundle, not working soft. Then copy this line of code. This is exactly what I'm doing, it's exactly what is there. Then uh, you can paste it here. Then you can save it. Then you can go back. And uh, I think we have everything now done. Then you can, uh, one more thing is down here, we need to grab this line and then we can just put this down and hit enter. So this is going to create a bundle file for us that will help us to Render our application on our emulator. 
So let's just give it a couple of seconds to finish. So guys, don't forget to hit the like button and also the subscribe button. So it's not gonna take time. Almost done. And uh, we are done. So we now have our asset files generated and sorry, our bundle file generated in app source main assets in this Android bundle. So that's it for now. Then the last thing we need to do is to come over here, take this line of code, put it here, and now uh, we can hit enter to link our dependency. And you can see that everything has been linked. You can see that everything has been linked successfully. And uh, this, is not so, this is not also the last thing you need to do. Uh, one more thing you need to do is to come over to the Android file, Android folder, go over to build. Uh, down here, just type down Maven, put down a URL, HTTPS, G, type down jetpack.io, then save that. Uh, okay, we don't have any error, we don't have any error. I think uh, we need to re-delete this because this can cause a big problem for us. So delete the degenerated bundle folder. Then uh, run the code again, just hit your up button and run it again. So let's just wait for this to finish. So we need to regenerate that because uh, this kind of things can give us an error. Sometimes we don't pitch it no show, sure, but I think it's, it's better we take these uh, precursive steps so that in the process we cannot encounter any error. So we are done. Then uh, I think, okay, we are done with everything we need to do. Then the first thing we need to do now is to come to the uh, official documentation website of React Native Navigation. Grab this line of code here and now come to your index.js file, get everything out and paste that. Then you need to get rid of this one, get rid of this one. Uh, I think, yeah, get rid of these two, get rid of that. Then you can remove everything here and that makes it neat. Then lastly, we can now run our application by using React Native from Android. So this kind of uh, wait to see the outcome of what we've done so far. Then in the next part, we can continue, but let's kind of wait to see what we have. So we are just going to give this uh, a couple of seconds, then we can come back and continue the video. So guys, I made a mistake on the URL. Uh, it's supposed to be a HTTPS. So I spelled something really long. So I'm going to still delete this again. Get rid of that. So this kind of things you need to really uh, be careful because when it comes to, uh, let's say React Native, you know, it's not something that you can just uh, rush or do things like that. I think I need to put single quotes here. So let me do that once more. Let me close that, come here on this line of code again. So guys, just bear with me for this stupid mistake. So let's just give it a couple of seconds. Okay, we are done. And uh, everything should be generated by now. Mm, okay, then we can now hit React Native Run Android. So let's kind of wait to see whether we're going to observe any error again. So it's running Jetfire, pretty fine, pretty fine. Installing the app, everything has been evaluated. And uh, oh no, it was a problem again. Same thing, single quotes. I use a single quote. I don't know what the problem. Oh, sorry guys. Uh, the mistake is for me. I was not that observant. Mm, one more time. We can do this. We can do this. Trust me. We can do this. We can do this together. 
you can do this, we are into this together, we can do this. Just come down here, get rid of this brother and just leave it away. So let me space that out. And lastly, hope is lastly. So guys, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So it's not gonna waste time again, just a couple of seconds. I think when you have something like this, uh, you should be pretty sure it's going to work very fine, but don't mind. These are all stupid mistakes that came from me. Uh, let's see what we have. And we are done. And uh, we can run the application now and open our Android emulator to observe what's going on. So let's kind of wait for the outcome. So it's stolen the app. Oh, yeah. So we don't have any error for now. So let's just see what we come to be of our app. So guys, when this is done, I'm just going to uh, continue the video. For now, let me just pause the video so that we will not have much delay on the sequence. So we are almost done. Let's just see. And now finally, we didn't have any error on our app is built. So don't mind that it just stops. <laughs> when next we restart the app, it's going to run perfectly. So we can see that our Metro Bundler compiled. And here we can see, welcome to React. We have a very basic React application here. And that's very, very cool. That's very, very cool. And very, very cool. So I, I imported the app here to use it as a welcome screen. So that's why we can see the default React and native app screen here but that's how we can uh, do set up our react native application so in the next uh, set series we are going to deep dive into this uh react native documentation in order to uh, get a flavor out of what we have so guys thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button and also if you find anything difficult doing you can come over here to fix your metro bundler and also you can come over here to uh, go to the native apps uh, on the bootskills.com. Go to native apps. Sorry, my, my machine is kind of slugging. Uh, go to native apps, then you can do uh, read the article and you can use it however you want to use it. So thank you guys. See you on the next video.